Hey guys, well you are now with <coughs> Obsession with Animals and today I am going to make a how to care for your hamster. Or if you're planning on getting one anytime soon. Well, I, I got mine on September 8th and um, I was going to make a video but I couldn't because my laptop was broken. And well, it was fixed like, and, like maybe like three or four days ago. So here she is. This is my hamster. She's a female. Her name is Panda. Um, she's a panda dwarf hamster. Um, I named her Panda because when the man was putting her in the little carry-on box for me to take home, he said, "Oh, she looks like a little panda." Cause I, I guess because of her fur, as you can see right there. Now she's black and white, grayish. Um, okay. So what I was gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little thing some things that that you're gonna need for your hamster like of course you're gonna need food um this is a really good brand Vita C Netherlands Vita C um it's really good you know it has all the, the nutrition you need and stuff and whatnot okay uh, another important thing of course you're gonna need is bedding um, I I'm gonna throw this away that I remember about the video, so. This is all I have left. I just cleaned her cage like two hours ago and I had to use the one that was left. But this bedding is really good and it is true. It is super. It is amazingly and really awesome. Owner Shopper, if those of you out there who are planning on getting care fresh bedding, um, I recommend that you don't because when I went to bed, I was gonna, my first thing, my first bedding of choice for my hamster was, um, hair fresh. But when I went to go get it, um, the man told me that many people had returned the bedding and because many of their pets have died and have gotten, um, intoxication because of the bedding. So I recommend you get this one. I mean, it's awesome. You know, it's soft I mean, obviously she loves it and I'm sure your pet will too. And yeah, you know, it's for guinea pigs, bunnies, and all that. And it's mostly how it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that. But let me show you, like, a little bit from my... Well, you can see right there in the bottom. Let me show you right here. That's how it will pretty much look like once you put it in there. And yeah, you know, it's really good. It's cocoa fresh, actually, and it's amazing. Um, other things you might want is... um. Um, this is, is for the water bottle uh, that she has here. Water bottle right here. Um, you have to fit, if you want to buy this, and you know it's not bad. It's a vital soul multivitamin for your gerbil or hamster. You have to add 12 drops and fill it up all the way to the top, and that's pretty good. I mean, mine is almost finished. I have like a little bit left, and I messed up today. I don't know how much how much I cooked up by mistake, and I had to start all over. But it's good. I fixed it, and that's it. Um. I don't know if you guys can see her little house there, right here. There you go. Yeah, she loves it. I put her in like last week, and she can't. I can't get her out basically. Okay, some of the things you you might want to get, which um, it's not you know, what do you call it, mandatory, but you could if you want to make you know your house's life a little bit more interesting and fun. If you if you want, and you can say whatever. Um, some treats would be nice. I have, I bought these from Walmart. Um, veggie puffers. Really good. It's for hamsters, rabbits, and guinea pigs. See right here, it says it right here. Never mind. I'm just read you what it says. For guinea pigs, hamsters, dribbles, adult rabbits, and other small animals. Yeah, and it's really good. It says tasty. I mean, mine likes it. I'm sure others do too. You know, you're just supposed to feed, um, one to two a day. Um, I feed mine probably once every once every one week, every so other week. Because her poop started coming out green and you know that worried me. But it wasn't then her poop got back to normal and you know it was all good. Um, I also got these um big shop tree from Wild Harvest. And it's basically it's good. I mean she likes it since it tastes like like cakes. Let me show you one. These taste like 
Well, they're like this, and they usually just like the taste because it's you know sweet, and they don't really have a lot of it. And you know what I mean? So yeah, they really like it. I mean, she has a little bit. I, I put her one inside for today, but um, you know. I mean, another thing you're you're gonna need is blocks. Um, these blocks. Sorry, guys. This is my parents are outside and they're talking. Um, these blocks, of course, they're for their incisors, for their teeth, so I can keep them sharp and short. I mean, of course, you don't want them sharp, but you know what can you do? And what else? What else? Oh, um, this, which, I have a hamster, a hamster wheel, a ball, which she loves, it's, I think it's, well, she loves running, so it's like her favorite little toy besides her wheel and, and her cage. And so, yeah, these are very, very important, um, so they can just, like, get out of the cage and just roam around the house everywhere they want. And this came with this one, with this food bag, and it only cost, I think, $8.00. I mean, it's not bad. Um, I don't know about this. I haven't fed my hamster this because um, I'm still giving him the Vita seed that, you know, was recommended. But this one, I might try it. I mean, it's for gerbils and hamsters. But the only problem with this type of brand is that it contains treats that are in here that I noticed. And, like, you know, you're not supposed to feed this every day to your pet. I mean, you could, but that's just not, it's not right. At least not to me, because their poop is coming out messed up, and you're just gonna, you know, it's not, it's not good, you shouldn't. But this seems pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. I'll, I'll see if she likes it, you know, I mean, it says, you know, it says, it, you know, it's for the, right here, where it says, um, the little triangle, you know how they have the little, you know how they have the little thing, you know how the regular, whatever, the, the pyramid thing, well, anyway, right here it says skin, and it's for the skin and code, vitamins and minerals for teeth, bones, growth, amino acids for the muscle, carbohydrates gives them energy, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I haven't tried it on her, and it's still closed, it's a sample, and it's a big sample, actually. But we'll see how that goes, and I'll, be, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, let me, well, the cage, let's talk about the cage, um, Oh, I left the box on the other side, but this is a sweet home cage. It's um, it's really really cute. I actually fell in love with this cage, you know. Also because I didn't want anything that big or too big that takes up too much space. And since since she's a panda dwarf, you know that she doesn't grow anymore, so she just stays like that. So really, pretty much. Um, I love the color that it has, and it has my favorite color, yellow, on the top. And apparently she seems to like it. She's already in, in her little house, I think, yeah. And, you know, uh, yeah, but it's really good. And, you know, I, I stuck a little house in there that I had from when I was young. And she is, you know, just putting in the bedding in there to make herself warm. And then you guys can see right here that she is. Panda! There she is, guys. Oh, she's coming. But yeah. She's super cute. I love her. She gave me a huge surprise. I think it was on like a week before I got her or two weeks after. Because um, usually hamsters give birth. I mean, they're pregnant for 16 days and she gave birth 16 days later because I got her. Um, when I was looking at the calendar and I counted, I, I realized that I brought her home like three days pregnant already. And she gave birth to ten cubs. And when I saw that, my mom, my mom eventually, she got scared. She was like, oh my gosh, you know, she, she's not a big fan. I mean, it took me a while to convince her, but I finally got her. And yeah, you know, but we had to return the babies. I mean, I didn't want to, but I had to. And so, yeah. If you guys want any more info on how to take care of your hamster, how to clean cages, how to, you know, any, just anything about hamsters, just let me know. Um, comment below, um, send me a message, and I'll be so happy to help. So, thank you guys for watching.